What sets the Music Academy of the West apart from other programs for young singers? We had this beautiful, beautiful place to work on music, uh, which is a dream come true. And we didn't have to worry about um, paying our bills for the summer. We, we got to live and be musicians and be surrounded by other people who loved what they were doing. And we were taught by people who loved what they were doing. We study up at the Kate School instead of on the campus here at the Music Academy. And I think it created a really special bond between us all. In a way, it's almost like opera camp. When I was here, I sang an opera role, which was fantastic, and sang in opera scenes, worked with opera coaches, vocal coaches, diction coaches, and really just focused on the process of learning and bettering myself as a musician and singer. For any young singers who want to come to the Music Academy, I say do it. You'll be with singers who are just maybe still in undergraduate or just ending undergraduate school, and you'll be with singers who have been out in the world a bit. They'll be um, maybe 10 years further along, and you'll learn so much from your fellow singers. One of the important things in a career is to learn how to be good to your colleagues, and this is a place where you will learn that. Everyone is much happier when we all work together, and that's something that you'll find at the Music Academy. The relationships I made here at the Music Academy with the, the teachers has really stuck with me as I continue in my career. Ms. Horn has, I know, followed my career. We are singing a concert in her honor at Carnegie Hall in January, and I also get to be accompanied by Warren Jones. He's a fantastic collaborative pianist, and it's just a dream to actually perform with someone who used to be my teacher. The program that I'm singing at the Music Academy was um, inspired by just things that I love to sing and that I think the audience will have a good time listening to. It's a mixture of arias and also some, some jazzy things in there, starting with Romeo and Juliet, Je veux vivre, the opera by Gounod, some Puccini songs, Quel bel sogno di Loretta, as well as Quando m'en va. Then we move into song repertoire, Les filles de Cadix by Delib, and Amor by Strauss. It's a, it's a song that's very similar to the kind of style that Terbinetta from the opera Ariadne of Naxos sings. Oh, Glitter and Be Gay, because that is always a fun party piece, even though this isn't a party we're celebrating. In a Sentimental Mood by Duke Ellington, and Fly Me to the Moon, which I think captured my imagination when I was a little girl. My grandparents had a music box that played Fly Me to the Moon. And then Summertime from, uh, by Gershwin, Tulip's aria from A Wedding by Bolcom, which I sang here at the Music Academy.